So let's have a look how the last competitor for Wales does. He's Glyn Jones, another farmer from Denbyshire, and he's come with his dog, Gelp. Well, this is Gel, my five-year-old dog, dog which I've bought as a ten-month-old dog and trained. He's won the international for me at Bala in 1973. I believe he's the type of dog that's built for that certain type of work. He's intelligent, a very much a one-man dog. I think he's got the right build for a good sheepdog. He also is a very, very good listener. I think that makes him such a good dog for these, for the hill and for the big international courses. Of course, we know that we need a lot of luck on these trials, but I think that if you have a good dog, that he will make his own luck and that he sort of comes over nearly all the real bad obstacles that you come to. They're very difficult to find, a good young dog. But when you've got one, I think that if you look after them and treat them as a human being, then they will respond by doing their very best for you. Gell has certainly done his very best for Glyn Jones in recent years. He's won the Supreme Championship in 1973 and he was the Reserve Supreme Champion in 1975. And he's going on nice outrun line there. Looking for his sheep, looking in. Knows where he's going. Perhaps just moving him slightly, but he's covering well. Covering well. I'd have done him a point, done him a point at the top of the field there. But his lift was quite nice. Clean lift, I should think. There's the 10 out of 10 for the lift. Bending slightly there. Well, these straight lines, don't forget. I mean, there's just an odd point or two going there. Control work. Valuable dog. Good looking dog, this. Valuable dog. Worth all six, seven hundred pounds. But it'd be worth more than that in stud fees. Turns nicely. 18's going out of 20. That's 47 total. Up on the others there, one point. Turning nicely there. Got a little bit of a gallop in here, I think. Straight across the field. Now look, he's holding him back. Now this is Anthony. He's Glyn there holding him back. He's just. Just right of the sheep getting this. Too much of a bolt. Glyn says a dog. Good dog will listen and and, and Gelly is certainly a good listener. Kind of nicely balanced and controlled there. there go. Incidentally, although the Jones handlers aren't related, the uh, dogs are for uh, Gelly's the brother of Jaff who uh, ran in the first uh, trial with uh, Marion. And there's 26 scored out of the 30 points. He's dropped four on driving just in. Little odd faults. And that gives him 73 points. He's got a good lead, but will his luck hold with these temperamental sheep? He still needs a strong finish to win. He's, he's just filling in a little under, so to say. Tension there. He's got them out of the ring. He's going to drop an odd in the two. Steady, steady. Dan, goodbye, go. Dan. Dan. Weep. Ribbon sheet. Chance, chance. Just a bit Dan. rough, but Gelt came through as he was asked. Dan, come by. Eight points scored out of ten Dan. there. That gives him 81 and he's now the leader, but he doesn't know it, of course. 
Done. 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 Go, go. Moving. Letting them settle there. Dog laying, watching, waiting for the next command. Glenn opens the gate. Go! Wait! Stand! Settle, 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 steady. We stand! We stand! Nice place, nice position. Now then, is he going to get him in straight away? Get a funny feet. Wait! Get a funny feet. Stand. Stubborn sheep. They're very, they're very and dodgy, and yes, and they're through, and they're round. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where you have to keep your cool. Yes. Get up. Stand. Get up. Whip. Stand. Bye, lad. Experience, Bye, Bando. Hold. These things yeah, 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 yeah. happen, and you get over them. Hold it. Yeah. Go, go. Yeah. Get up. Go. Steady. But he's having Steady. trouble Stand. here. He's having trouble at this point. Stand. Wait, 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 well, the patience Stand. demanded Stand. from man and dog again, again. You there Stand. troubling him? Go on, it can be Bye, slipping girl. a bit. Come by, girl. He's losing a packet. Come by, come by, come. Where is, where is, where is? down. Come by, girl. Come by. Stand. We. Done. Flighty sheep, are they going to be mustered? Yes, yes. Yes, only two out of the ten squad. Eight gone there. Rough. So sheep aren't as simple as they look to handle. But 83 points makes Glyn Jones a worthy Welsh champion. You had the worst lot of sheep that we've seen in the whole trial. You had a really lot of stinkers. Where did you find the most difficulty? Well, by that pen, the real bad ones by the pen. I also think perhaps we don't understand these black-faced sheep the same as the lynxmen do anyway. Watching your dog, it's a very sharp little dog. It's a very, very keen little dog. And if you're picking a dog and you want to choose one, what makes you choose a sharp dog and what makes you choose a, a bit quieter, easier dog? Well, I prefer the sharp dogs because they seem to suit my temperament better. I don't seem to get on very well with the others. It's more difficult to handle, but I think as they get older, they sort of cool down and they last a little longer, compared to the, the quieter dog when he's young, when he finishes a lot sooner. This little dog, it really got him going once or twice, didn't it? And uh, you, your problem was not moving your sheep on so much as, as slowing them down. How did you get him to slow them down? Well, I think he sort of the dog begins to realise what the, the situation is, you know. And um, he's been at it a few years now, so... Well, so have you, so I hope that you have good luck in the semi-finals, and so thank you very much indeed, Glyn. <laughs>